Well, the movie Thank You for Your Service follows a group of U.S. soldiers returning from Iraq who struggle to integrate back into family and civilian life. It's based on the true story of Sergeant Adam Schumann. And I recently sat down with Sergeant Schumann along with the actor who plays him in the movie, Miles Teller, and the director. I started by asking Sergeant Schumann about his experience coming home. What you got? I don't see nothing, man. You don't see it. He feels it. You know, when you're you're over there and you're over there for so long, all you all you think about when you're over there is just coming home and just laying in your own bed and taking a hot shower. So you get home and you you dive right into all these old things you used to do, but the more you do them, the more you realize that you don't get that enjoyment and satisfaction out of them again that you used to. And and everything is more difficult and there's there's a fog and a haze and yeah, it, the longer you go, the the harder that fight gets because you're not dealing with it. Mm -hmm. And and a lot of times guys just keep going and they don't deal with it. And the more you find yourself in those situations yeah. that, that it, it can play out. You have yeah. a chance to see it play out. Jason, this one's for you. You, uh, I know that this, this whole topic is of special importance to you. You're from uh, a military background, um, but that didn't necessarily mean that, that making this movie was just an easy home run for you. I know that you ran into some roadblocks, even from the very beginning with there being, you know, a bit of a misunderstanding so so how were you able to um, I guess to rally and to really make this come alive the way that you did yeah I mean as you said I've, I have some veterans in my family but um, I, I stepped off American Sniper and into this and I thought it was going to be a direct translation and I already knew the language and I was I was really wrong about that Look, it's uh, it's a big sacrifice, and we we as a country, I think, have have never really understood what we're thanking these guys for, and so we wanted to put the audience in that seat where it's, um, you know, it's an exciting, visceral ride walking home as these guys and seeing what they walk back into and 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 the war that's going on for them every day in their hearts and their heads so the whole cast participated in kind of a, a boot camp I guess you can say some military training ahead of time what was that like and, and do you think that that it added to I guess the the authenticity of of the movie I'd say obviously it does so what was that that whole training like it was a week uh, down here in Atlanta in January. It was pretty cold, and it was kind of like that scared straight show, I guess, where they <laughs> take people, they strip them from their civilian life, and it's like, boom, you're in prison now. And that's kind of what it was, and we all, you know, we were sleeping two hours a night, and then out there, 5 o'clock in the morning, 4.30, doing, you know, push-ups and getting hosed down and crawling through the mud. And I think it was... I mean, afterwards, yeah, it was extremely beneficial and rewarding because it, it brought a cast closer together than any rehearsal I've ever done, like collective suffering and really understanding the significance this person would have when you're in war. This guy's going to could save your life and you absolutely would take a bullet for this person. Just kind of getting in, the, in that mindset to where it's like, you're not just friends. There's a, a much deeper, I don't even know the word to, I mean, they'll call each other their brothers and sisters, but place that in in war mm -hmm. and really how much you're relying on this person and what that what that means over there it was uh, yeah it was great to just get a taste of of what that experience what would be like. like the dance moves really quickly the dance moves how, how, how did you learn the I don't dance like that honestly that's how I, that's just how I <laughs> felt like a lot of my boys are military and I see them get loose and yeah they actually all love to dance it's a different version of these dudes and kind of um, you know, I think then used to, I don't know, it's just a lot of like jumping around and energy and just that, I don't know, there's a lot of like, it was like a dog pound kind of mentality and uh, these dudes like, they don't have, I mean, they're spending months like in country, man, sure. like you get a moment to kind of get Was he spot it. on with that? Was yeah, he spot no, on with it? It's, it's that energy, you know, that, that pre-mission energy yeah. and you miss that, you know, before you're going out on a mission, you're looking around the room, everybody's got their headphones on, they're packing their stuff and they're loading their rifles and, and you know it's about to go down and you feel that energy in the room and in that scene I could feel, and there are moments when I'm hanging out with my friends and we all get to talking about it and we're, we're kind of riding that high again and yeah. to see them just jumping around and just just loving each other was, yeah. was really beautiful. Yeah, that was a cool moment. This mm -hmm. this last one's for you, Adam. How did you feel when you saw the finished product? It hurt. Hit me right in the guts. Yeah, um, but it was it was it was like the best therapy to to go through this and see it and. Uh, 
I felt at the end of the film it was uh, it was the the realest version of what myself or anybody that was in my position and these other characters could have experienced. Thank you for looking after my son. I'm not a hero. We're brothers. We look after each other. I'm only human after all. Don't put the blame on me. Our thanks to Universal Pictures for help coordinating that interview. Thank you for your service opens in theaters tomorrow. Just before 950 now and remember whether you're at home or on the go, you can watch Fox 5 all day long on YouTube TV. You can stream Fox 5 whenever you want on your TV, your computer, your smartphone or your tablet. This is what you're seeing right now if you're watching on YouTube TV. It's pretty cool. Uh, all you have to do is head to tv.youtube.com to learn how to get it and enjoy it. It's all there for you. Coming up next here on